Hey Loop again! Today we have a battle. Teach yourself versus Hasimil. So I'm gonna kick your ass! No, I'm gonna kiss your ass! I'm gonna kick your ass, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, and now let's get real. Okay. And now I'm gonna talk about something. Which method should you use to study a foreign language? Should you use teach yourself? Or should you use a simile instead? The thing is, they're both intermediate language courses. They're both level four, they're both level four. They're both um, B2 courses. The thing is, they're very, very different. They're very, very different. So I would say, if you're not so much into grammar, if you're not a grammar guy, if you want to make progresses quicker, if you want to go quickly through the, to the language, you should definitely use Asimil. So what do we have here in Asimil? Uh, this Asimil, Oscar, might be an exception because this is introduction. This is an introductory course. Uh, but most of the, of the Asimil courses are intermediate language courses. And they provide you between 2,000 and 3,000 words. And they provide you, they, they make, they, they give you the ability to communicate on an intermediate level. Uh, most of the SML have between 63 and 110, I believe, lessons. Short lessons, short dialogues, just like I'm going to show you guys. It's all bilingual. On one side of the page you have the language you're studying, on the other side you have English or Spanish or whatsoever. It's uh, the, 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 These guys are French, but they have it and uh, some of them are available, available, available in English, some of them are available in Spanish and in Italian. So you can see this is Basque and this is Spanish. Okay, bilingual text. Full translation. And then, what do they have? They have some notes, a bunch of notes. Uh, when they explain, uh, on that note, they explain grammar points easily. Grammar points, but they explain it very easy. They just tell you, okay, this is what you put at the end of a sentence to make the future. This is added to indicate this, to indicate that. This is how you make the past tense, something like that, but very easy. They don't, they don't go too deep on grammar. So they provide you and they allow, allow you to learn uh, by repetition. You listen to the recordings again and again and you repeat them. And then you also have some exercises which are something like translate into whatsoever. But they're very simple things. I'm gonna show you guys. Exercises down here, okay. Translating friends, uh, simple sentences, only that. And they go through this over and over again. It has two phases a, pass a passive phase when you learn only by repeat repetition, and then those guys call it an active phase when you learn how to how to do your own, your own sentences. So, if you're not so much of a grammar guy, and if you want to progress quicker, you should definitely use a simil. They say normally people take from between five and seven, seven months to, to reach an intermediate level. Uh, I agree, and I do not agree. I agree that, in the, in that during that period of time, when once you complete the course, you will be low intermediate, then you have to consolidate your knowledge, you have to revise things in order to be intermediate, intermediate level. Now, teach yourself. What does teach yourself has, have here? What does it have? Dialogues, sometimes only one, sometimes two, there are courses with several dialogues, sometimes three, five, and even six dialogues. Here we go. This is a Czech dialogue, one language that unfortunately I'm not studying yet. Then, words, on that box over there. The problem is, with Asimil, 
you can study something like 10 lessons, completely easy. After lesson 10, they, they, they tend to go a little bit harder, but not that much, not that much harder. Teach yourself, once you read chapter 2 or 3, the dialogues will begin to be very complex, a lot of grammar terms, and they explain, they don't explain the gra grammar as the ICML guys explain, they explain grammar in depth. They want you to learn in depth. Just look at the examples. They gave you, they give you a lot of examples from grammar here. A lot of them, so you can understand the grammar points. And then, they explain everything in depth. They, they, don't, they don't just give you two or three examples. They explain everything, everything in depth. Okay, everything in depth. If you're not so much of a grammar guy, you should definitely use a uh, hasi meal. But if you're a grammar guy, and if you want to master a good level 4, I would advise you to use teach yourself. The thing is, if you use both, great, it will be better. Now, let's see. If you have, uh, the hasi meal guys advise you to study half an hour a day every day. With that, five, seven months, depending on the language, uh, you might be able to, I'm studying Arabic for <laughs> four months or more, and I'm only on, on lesson seven, and <laughs> I'm gonna stay there a long time. And this is a low intermediate course too. Depending on, it depends on the language. I've been studying uh, French for months, and I'm on lesson 22. <laughs> it's uh, something like that, it's, um, it's okay. Um, I would also advise you to, uh, if you're something like Portuguese or Spanish, you speak a Latin language, use Asimil for Latin language, languages. If you're, for instance, if you're um, a German guy, you could use Asimil to learn um, Dutch. If you're Swedish, use Asimil for Norwegian or the opposite. Because um, they're very good when langu languages are similar. They're very good. When languages are similar to you, you can understand easier things. Um, if you want a good consolidated level 4, I will advise you to use both of them. Teach yourself and assimil. And um, moreover, um, moreover, what else can I say? Um, if you study half an hour a day with teach yourself, you will need at least something like two years. You will need uh, two years or one year and a half. If you study one hour, you need at least one year. Uh, so it depends also on the time you have. So that's it for now. See you back then.